welcome to today's video. Today we are talking about the five to seven age level math curriculum for moving beyond the page. We are very excited that we have our separate math program for five to seven. Now, if you purchased the entire five to seven age level, then you would also have our combined subjects, which is language arts, social studies, and science, and our reading program. We have other videos discussing specifically the combined language arts, science, and social studies, as well as the reading program. Today's video, we're gonna talk about, we're opening up your box, we're gonna help you get started with the curriculum, organization tips, and just a general overview of how the math lessons are going to work this year. This is such a fun and unique math program because it includes math literature books. So you open up your package, you have three main components. You have the curriculum, you have the literature, and you have the manipulatives. So those are the three major components to this curriculum. With math, you have two semesters of math. So instead of concepts, we are now talking about semesters. So you have semester one and semester two. For semester one, you have your parent manual and your student activity book. And you also have for semester two, the same, a parent manual and a student activity book. Your child is going to complete 10 math units over these two semesters. Each unit can last three to six weeks and the year will wrap up with a one week review. Each unit is going to end with a project that's going to allow your child to really sit on all that information that they've learned in that unit and demonstrate what they have learned. To get started, you basically just start on semester one, lesson one. You work through one lesson each day. At the end of each lesson, there is an online quiz that your child can take. This quiz is going to reinforce previously taught skills and any skills they may still need practice on from previous lessons. So in the math, we do need to focus on a couple specific tools related just to the math program. First one, is your math kit. This is full of fun math manipulatives that your child's going to be using throughout the school year. This is going to contain common manipulatives, craft activities, and other items. This conveniently comes all stored in one box, but you can choose to separate the items as needed per unit or per lesson. Your child will also receive a three ring binder. During lessons, you will instruct your child to put certain pages into this binder throughout the school year. And the last tool is going to be that online learning gates tool, which is going to be used for quizzes. Now, let's jump into what the curriculum looks like, what a lesson looks like. If you have your curriculum with you, go ahead and grab your semester one parent manual. If we go to unit one, it's going to introduce the concepts your child is going to be learning in this unit and it does have vocabulary. You're going to want to review these vocabulary daily through the lessons with your child. If you have a word wall, flashcards, these are great to add on to that. Then we move on to the unit review sheet. These are facts that your child will master in the specific unit. This is a great page to keep and just review periodically to make sure your child is on track and understanding the concepts. Then we move on to the required books. These are, if you purchase the entire curriculum package, these are the books you'll wanna pull out for this specific unit that will correspond with the lesson. Then there's the materials list. I love how this material list is laid out because it tells you specifically if something is in the math kit or if this may be something that you either have around the house or you pick up from your local store. Math kit provides the majority of these things. The other items are mostly common things like colored pencils, things you would already have on hand. It gives you the entire list so you can either choose to get everything organized for this specific unit, put that in like a plastic bin, or you can go one step further. It also breaks it down by lesson. So you can take what you need per lesson, put it in a Ziploc bag, make it easy and grab so you are ready to go when it is time to complete your lessons. There's no wrong way to organize this curriculum. It's really what works best um, for your student and yourself. I did just see marshmallows on the list though, so I would probably advise you marshmallows probably should not stay in the school room because they will get eaten very quickly. Now let's jump into a lesson. So remember, we're gonna start on lesson one. There are times where a lesson will be worked on multiple days. Those will be noted in the curriculum. Getting started is gonna go through questions to explore. 
These aren't specifically needing to be answered by your child, but they are concepts and understanding your child should be able to understand or articulate at the end of the lesson. Facts and definitions. These are going to cover any vocabulary words from that original list that are going to be taught in this lesson. And it's also going to provide other facts that your child should know at the end of the lesson. Because this is math specific curriculum, all the skills are going to be related to common standards for math. If you are someone who needs to track those standards, we provide this easy list for you to record. Then we have another materials list. This is that same materials list, but broken down by just this lesson one. So these are the items we need to complete this lesson. The introduction is introducing you to what you're going to be teaching your child in this lesson. It gives you different things to complete. If you need to read any books, it will tell you what book and what pages, if there's any discussion questions or things to discuss with your child before moving on to the activities. The activities are the main meat of this curriculum. These are where your child is going to be doing a variety of things, either hands-on, project-based, pages in their student activity book. There's going to be a variety of activities every single day in every lesson. If the activity requires something like making a booklet, there are graphic images to help you understand what that should look like. Sometimes the activities have multiple options. These options are just a variation of each other. One may be more advanced or one may work better for one of your, ch your children. Review both options and pick one that fits best for your child. At the end of the lesson, you're going to get to the wrap up section. This is going to kind of wrap everything up that we've learned in this lesson. It's going to give you some final thoughts, maybe some final discussion questions, and it's going to guide you to complete the learning gates quiz. And we have just completed our first math lesson. Now, there are a couple ways to organize this curriculum, and it really depends if you're using the rest of the Moving Beyond the Page program for the five to seven level. If you're using everything, you're gonna have lots of books to organize. You can use a book bin like this to keep all your books organized. This would be best if you're keeping all the books for all the subjects together because it is pretty big and it holds a lot of books. If it's easier for you to keep things groups tighter in smaller increments, then I recommend a book bin that's a little bit like this. Um, it doesn't have as much room, but this works perfectly for the semester. So I can put my child's binder, the parent manual, the student activity book, and whatever literature books are needed for semester one, I could place in here. This can sit on a desk easily. I know it's everything we need for math for the entire first semester. So this is also a great option. There's no right or wrong way to organize this curriculum. So find what works best for you and your family and your school. We are here to help you with your new curriculum and we want this to be the best experience for both the child and yourself. If you ever have questions, feel free to call us directly or email us. We also have an entire website with so much information about every individual level, some tools, tips, and everything you need for your entire year. Thanks so much for watching today's video.